Today, I'm going to introduce Cisco DNA Center version 232's brand new feature, the Wireless 3D Map, an incredible addition to our network deployment and monitoring feature set that allows us to gain a never before seen perspective of the typically invisible Wi Fi RF. Prior to this, we, along with the rest of the market, have a 2D map that shows us the placement of APs on a floor, as well as how the RF is propagated from a top down view. The problem with this approach is that we live in a 3D world, and in order for network administrators to ensure there is proper wireless coverage in every building and floor, they need the ability to view wireless RF at different angles and from the perspective of how a wireless network user would perceive the Wi Fi. The wireless 3D map solves these problems by simulating your wireless RF by accurately replicating your floor map and all obstacles while accounting for their RF attenuation. For navigation, you can scroll to zoom in and hit shift on your keyboard while left clicking and drag the pan around the map, or use the navigation controls directly on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Looking at the map, each access point has a name and a number right above it representing the health score from Assurance. For viewing options, opening KPIs on the right will provide you with a list of options for viewing your 3D maps. Heat map devices allows you to select if you want to view the 3D map for operational APs, which are APs that actually exist in your Cisco DNA center, planned APs, which are APs that are just used for simulation purposes, or both. To allow a network administrator to understand their wireless coverage, three heat map metrics are provided, RSSI, SNR, and interference. These three KPIs will allow users to quickly understand the coverage of their Wi-Fi and which areas need their attention using the green, yellow, and red color coding. This color-coded threshold is defined at the bottom and is customizable as we understand that wireless RF can vary in different environments, so network administrators have the ability to customize the wireless 3D map to fit theirs. To view these KPIs, we have three heat map types. Point cloud, which is the number of points on the 3D plane, isosurface, which is a contiguous 3D surface, and scanner, which allows you to view the RSSI at different heights when the play button is hit. This is especially useful for a high ceiling deployment, which will be demonstrated in a later video. With that said, this is the introduction to Cisco DNA Center 232's wireless 3D map. In the next episode, we will be covering how you can discover and resolve wireless coverage holes using the wireless 3D map. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash the like button, subscribe, click the notification bell, and as always, thank you for watching.